So I have this virtual machine and I'm going to attempt to connect to it over RDP. I go into the VM overview, I click on the connect button, it brings up this option and I say download the file and then I try to open RDP to that machine. Now this is going to fail. This video covers how are we going to diagnose what the potential problem is for doing an RDP connection into an Azure virtual machine. Now in this particular case, the reason it's going to fail is because I don't have the port opened uh, in Azure for the traffic to travel over the network, but we're going to get to that in a second. So this is the type of error message you get when your machine, where you are located, cannot connect to a virtual machine running in Azure. Now there's a couple of different reasons for that. Close that. First of all, this port number 3389. It's not totally unusual that some ISPs and some workplaces would block port 3389 traveling over their networks. And so depending on where you're located, if you're in an office and that office has fairly strict security standards, then it might not even allow you to attempt to connect to this over the internet. And so first, the first question I would have is, can you connect to any other machine in Azure or anywhere else outside of your network using RDP? So if you can't, if you create a new VM and you can't connect to even that, then that might be a sign that port 3389 can't even leave your own network. Uh, I would look at a tool like, like Telnet. That's an old style tool back in the day. Um, but to get to a particular port, you can basically um, use a software tool that, that you can install on your computer that can attempt to connect to that port and see if it even starts a communication or not. Now, let's go back to the virtual machine and we can see here the machine is running. So the second reason why it wouldn't work obviously is the machine itself is, is in not, not in a great state. So if it's just starting up um, or if it had shut down and that IP it got released, even if you have a static IP, a machine that's not running is not gonna be able to connect it to. So I'm gonna assume that that's not the case. Let's go into the networking tab here under settings and we can see it conveniently lists the current network security group settings for traffic inbound. We can also see the outbound rules. Now right away I can see these are the default rules and it does not uh, specify any rule that allows port 3389 to travel over the internet to this machine. There is a deny rule for any port from the internet. So anything coming inbound is blocked. So in this particular case, I know that the, the problem is that we don't have an inbound rule for 3389. Now, the thing about network security groups is there are two possible places to attach them. You can attach one to the network interface. In this case, it's attached to the virtual machine NIC card or you can attach one to the subnet. So we may have to go up to the, um, the subnet level, which I'll click on here just to show it. Let's see if I go into uh, subnets, we can see that there is no network security group listed against the default subnet. So we know that this, this issue is it's connected to the virtual machine. So if I was to add an inbound rule and I was to say any source and any destination, I can say 3389, allow. And this will allow RDP traffic. Now with this new rule in place, we would expect the connection to succeed. So we go back to the overview, click connect. I mean, we can download a new RDP file or reuse the existing one. And I'm only going to take, see it's connected right away. So I don't have to even log in um, through the regular login because I know that it's now talking to the machine. So that, that connection has worked. So if you see the screen, then you know that the your computer and the Azure VM are communicating. Now, um, there are a couple of an anomalous situations where um, no matter, you know, the port is open, you're confident that your machine can connect 
and you still, for whatever reason, can't get in to this machine. Uh, this might indicate that there is a problem with the VM, that RDP service has crashed or whatever, and um, you know maybe you want to do a VM restart. So let's say at this point, if I still can't connect, I might just say, you know what, we have to f restart this machine because something's wrong with the RDP service running on the machine. Now, if that doesn't work, so you've rebooted the machine, you still can't connect, something is, is corrupted or more permanently wrong, then you might be in a situation of having to essentially uh, rebuild the machine. So there are ways to to take this existing VM, the VHD from the storage, and just reinstantiate the virtual machine from that. The way you do that is by using the redeploy option. So if you go on the settings blade all the way to the bottom, you can see the redeploy link and you can actually get Azure to move the virtual machine to a brand new uh, physical host within the Azure environment. And if, that, if that's sort of like if all hope is lost of you connecting to the machine in any other way, uh, redeploying it uh, gets you a new instance of your existing virtual machine. And that would be the last you know chance that you have to get that connection working again. Anyways, we've seen how to connect to a virtual machine using RDP and diagnose that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.